Hello viewers, welcome. In this video we'll be showing you something we've never done before. This is a tablet that we picked up from one of these Asian shopping sites and basically the tablet was advertised to have awesomely good specs and uh, it was really nice to see the specs and we want to show you a really high-end great product. So we ordered one of these things and we're going to do the unboxing right now. Now this is a voiceover of the actual video because when we bought it we did not know it was a scam. So we want to show you what's included. So we, to do that uh, we'll go through a voiceover and describe. If you see when we once we open the box we see that the first thing that is glaring in our view is the Galaxy Tab. It has a Samsung logo on it. It turns out it's a Samsung Galaxy Tab fake. and but advertised with really good spec, so that that is what we've run into. Now, if we look more into what's included, we see that uh, inside there's a lot of additional things. There's a cable, white, typical Samsung style coloring, and this is the power cable from the adapter to the tablet. Now, now this tablet's sold with what looks like a Samsung power adapter, and it has a power adapter so, so to work in the U.S. style plugs. And once you plug that in, it looks like it is your typical genuine Samsung power uh, travel adapter. Uh, we are unable to prove if this is or isn't the case, but it looks like a 5.3 volt, 2 amp power adapter. Let's see we get that a little bit better in focus there. And it looks very convincing. You buy, you buy a tablet, it comes with a Samsung logo on the back of the tablet. It has a power adapter that says Samsung. It has a manual. Surprisingly it does not show any Samsung logo on it. And very flimsy uh, manual with just a few pages and not, nothing important to see. Keep in mind we were doing this unboxing video thinking that we had a very high-end tablet, very good product. So we're just showing you what's included. There's a guarantee. Uh, what we found out is there was no company name on the guarantee. So basically didn't give us much uh, information there. Here's a, a cable. If we look at this, this is a headphone cable. This tablet is supposed to come with an FM radio, so we haven't tested that yet. And it has a OTG on-the-go port, and this you can plug in and actually say stick a USB stick in there and basically transfer data. So it's a n nice to have um, if the specs were all good. And in addition, there's a bag that came from the seller. We give you what looks like a cloth to, for cleaning and a micro SD reading uh, USB card thing. So you can basically read your US, micro US, micro SD uh, cards. So as a, in the back, you just stick your micro SD in and stick this in the computer, and you should be able to read the data you have in your micro SD. Part of the deal, we actually bought a bundle that had this included, so yeah, it's no surprise uh, that supplied with the purchase. And here is a nice uh, screen protector. And um, what we want to show is really a little bit more about the tablet. And at first view, most people will think that this is a Samsung Galaxy Tab if you've never had one. And in our case, we've seen the Samsung Galaxy Tabs often, and we didn't think this was going to be a fake clone, as it turns out. All right, so let's actually take a look at the specs, because this Samsung Galaxy Tab fake has very, very good specs. And that's what got us interested in the tablet in the first place, because we were looking for specs. We weren't. Uh, checking carefully on brand, we weren't 
going to buy a brand name just for the fact that uh, we wanted brand names. We just wanted the best specs. And this is what we saw in the ad. We got the four gigabyte model of this tablet, and this is it's supposed to have a 10 inch screen, uh, super high res, 2560 by 1600 resolution IPS screen, so you should have really nice viewing angles. Supposed to be octa core, 1.3 gigahertz to 1.9 gigahertz, so super super fast. And running Android 4.4.2, which is KitKat. And uh, notice that uh, in the item description it says two gig, but in our title when we purchased it, that four gigabytes. Cameras, it shows two gig, two megapixel rear and front is eight megapixel. Usually it's the other way around for most devices. And in addition. The, uh, what we really liked about it when we made the purchase was that it had the GPS. And we, if you remember, we had reviewed a Tree tablet which did not have a GPS, and this one does. So got us really interested, and it has FM support for listening to music. Now, unfortunately, despite all these great specs, the specs are not true. And there's a bundle that are uh, available from the seller, but the specs are not true, and shopping carefully is very important. So let's actually take a look at the tablet again, or let's remove the tablet, and show you a little bit about what's included. Over at the top of the tablet is a front-facing camera, and on the bottom it looks like there's a hole right there that should be the microphone and on the back side you can see the two speakers and if we take a look at the camera which is also on the back let me lay this thing down see that there is a rear facing camera and a rear facing camera flash so that's nice to have a camera flash most people who are familiar with Samsung devices will notice that, that familiarity of having a flash with your rear camera. Now, when I remove the cover, you'll see that it has a dual SIM slot, so you can add two SIMs. And there's a micro SD card slot to add memory sticks. In general, the features appear to be very good, if they were true. And unfortunately, that is not as we will show in a subsequent video. Here we see the headphone jack, the power button, and the volume rockers. And that's pretty much it. There is a USB power connector at the top of the tablet. It feels very lightweight. Tablet again feels nice and thin, is lightweight. It would be a very nice tablet if the specs were true. Be sure to watch part two where we power up the tablet and show you more about the specs. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If so, please tap the thumbs up. We'll be having more great videos to come. Please subscribe so you don't miss out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.